Hey family, I got a question for you. I'm sitting here reading and recognizing Abraham's amazing faith. And <laughs> even though he didn't always do things the way that the Lord wanted him to do, his faith was amazing. It really was. I want to ask you, if the Lord said to you, you have no children, you have things, and you like your things, and he says to you, give your car away to that person, will you do it? Or will you hang on to it and be like, mm, I don't think I heard that right? Because you really want to keep your possession. Or if he tells you, don't take the job that they just offered you. I know it's more money than you wanted. Um, but don't take that job. Are you going to listen to him? Or are you going to say, I don't think I heard that right. That's a lot of money. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that. <laughs> and I ask you these things because it makes you pause. And you have to consider what has God done in your life? Has he blessed you so much that you can trust when he tells you to do something that it's going to be okay? Or will you allow your flesh to override what God says to you because you think that you're going to be better off in that position or you are going to be hurt and hobbled in some way if you give up that car. Now let's go back to Abraham. Abraham took his only son, only son, and was going to sacrifice him because God said to him one morning, Abraham, he said, here I am. He said, take your son, your only son, and sacrifice him as a burnt offering and go do it here. Abraham did not hesitate. That man got everything together, got his son, his servants, packed that donkey, and they took off. Did not hesitate at all. And when he got so far, this is the part that I love. He got so far, he goes, y'all stay here. The boy and I are going to go over there. We're going to worship a little farther, and then we'll be back. That right there shows his faith, period. This man did not hesitate to do what God told him to do because he thought about God's goodness to him. God had brought him and his wife safe, safely through two other situations where he said, she's my sister, and the people believed him. <laughs> That's a different story. That was funny, especially with the Bimelech. But God brought him through that. God gave him the strength to go and to rescue Lot and to bring back everything that was taken away. God has been with Abraham like a friend and he spoke to him he spent time with him and he told him your son is going to be the one who brings you so many descendants you won't even be able to count them so this is all going through abraham's mind when god tells him go do this and when he tells those servants we are going to go over there and then we will be back. So he knew without a shadow of a doubt that Isaac was not going to die. And it was so sure in his mind that when his son goes, um, hey, dad, I noticed that we have the wood and we have the fire. But where's the where's the sheep at? And this is a boy who is not young. He is old enough. I'm not exactly sure what his age was, but he was either a preteen or an early teen. So he's not dumb and he's not young. Um, there's some strength in this boy's body, but he doesn't fight his father. When his dad tells him, 
God will provide. He accepts it. When his father ties him up and puts him on this altar and raises that knife to kill him, he does not fight because he trusts his father. And Abraham trusted his father. So when the Lord called out and said, Abraham, hey, Abraham, and he goes, here I am. Don't touch the boy. Now I know that you fear the Lord. Y'all, would we have that kind of faith? Would we? Or would we go, hmm, <laughs> I, I don't know about that one. He didn't even tell his wife. Because y'all know that she would have fought and said, that is the only child I have. You will not be sacrificing him. Mm -mm. He kept that to himself. And he was obedient every step of the way. Can we be that obedient when God tells us something that is in no way as major as killing your own child? Will we sacrifice what he asks us to sacrifice? Or will we go, I don't think so. I know better. That's a decision we all have to make. If we trust God, he is going to give us what we need when we need it, and then some, because we're seeking him first. But if you rely on your own intuition, on your own thoughts, on your own flesh, you are going to fall flat on your face and you are going to lose everything that you have. It may not happen right away, but it will happen because God's not in it. And that's what we have to remember. We have to remember to keep God in it. Keep God first. And everything else will be added. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.